hexadecimal dash. <laughs> no binary number. And you gotta turn that into hexadecimal. What? Do you know about binary? Uh, not really. Binary basics. A computer is basically a bunch of circuits that can be switched to either huh. on or off. Huh. And so a two-digit number system huh. is all it needs to represent those two states. Huh. Binary is that number system huh. being made up of just ones and zeros. Right. So, in order for a computer to understand to represent any number, huh. that number first has to be converted into binary. Huh. Got it. Did you know that in a computer, an eight-digit binary number like this takes up one byte of storage? Okay. And if we split that in two, huh. each half is called a nibble. A nibble? <laughs> okay, I see what they did there. <laughs> Half a byte is a nibble. Like, I get it. Each of those nibbles can be represented using just one hexadecimal digit. How efficient. Which is exactly why we use hexadecimal in computer science. Okay. Big old numbers take up less space if we first convert them into hexadecimal. So to turn that binary into a hexadecimal number, I first need to split it into nibbles. That's right. What exactly is hexadecimal? Here comes the explanation. Hex is the Greek word for six, and the decimal system is, of course, based on the number 10. Okay. So, hexadecimal is an ancient mashup of six and 10. 16. Exactly. We use the word deanery, not decimal. Why? It's way cooler. Agreed. So, deanery is base 10, and hexadecimal is base 16. It means that each column in hexadecimal is 16 to the power of its place value. So, the first block tells us how many ones you have, and 16 to the power of zero is one. Then 16 to the power of one is 16. So the next block tells you how many 16s you have. 16 to the power of two equals 256. So the next block tells how you- How many 256s you have? You got it. 16 to the power of three is 4,096. Whoa. 16 to the power of four is 65,000 and- Okay, now you're doing my head in. Because hexadecimal is base 16, it means you have 16 digits to use to make the target. We need to represent all of those 16 digits using only a single symbol, as once we get to number 10 in deanery, then we jump into double digits. And we want to save space. That's it. In hexadecimal, we use letters instead of double digits. After the number nine, we simply run through the alphabet. A is 10, B is 11, and so on, until we reach F for 15, making a total of 16 hexadecimal digits, ranging from zero up to F. Zero to nine, then alphabet time. All you have to do is work out what those target nibbles amount to, then stick in the equivalent value in hexadecimal. All right, I'll give it a go. Round one. Let's do this. Turn binary into hexadecimal. Okay, so the first nibble is worth, um... Here, let me help you. Cheers. So we've got a two, which in the hexadecimal range is, um, zero, one, two. The second nibble is... We've got a one and a four and an eight. Thirteen. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten is A, eleven is B, twelve is C, so thirteen is D. D2 is the hexadecimal number. Target complete. Yes. Round two, convert hexadecimal into binary. Turn 9F hexadecimal into binary. First nibble needs to be nine. So an eight and a one. Next nibble needs to be F. Um, this help? Cheers. Okay, so 10 in deanery is A in hexadecimal. 11 is B, 12 is C, 13 is D, 14 is E, 15 is F. 15. So 8 and 4 makes 12, plus a 2 makes 14. One more. 15. Challenge complete. Yes. Hey. What? I bet that wasn't what you expected, huh? <laughs> Mate, you need help. Try BBC Bite Size. <laughs> 